Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to import and run the Berkeley DB Java Sample program in the Eclipse IDE. In a previous tutorial, we have already built necessary Berkeley DB libraries and copy them to the sample programs directory. So let's open Eclipse and import the project. Now we are ready to import and run the sample program. Before that, we want to make sure that JDK 7 is configured as installed JRE in Eclipse. To verify that, click Eclipse, Preferences, Find Execution Environments and Java Installed JREs. Click on Java SC 1.7 and verify that it is linked to a JDK 7 installation. Now we are set to import the sample program. From the context menu, select Import. Select General Existing Projects and click Next. Select the root directory of the sample program as the root directory. Make sure the sample program is checked and click Finish. Now the sample program is imported. We can see that it contains a few compiler errors. Now we configure the build path of the project to fix the compiler errors. From the context menu, click Build Path, Configure Build Path. In the Libraries tab page, click Add Jars and select the two jar files built from the Berkeley DB release package. If you did not copy them into the sample programs directory, you may need to click Add External Jars to find them. After adding the two jars, we need to configure their native library locations. Click the arrows to expand the edit jars and select native library location. Click edit. We can simply add the workspace root directory at the native library location because we have copied the native libraries into the root directory of the sample program. Now we are ready to run the sample program. Expand the source tree and find the parking demo class. From the context menu, select Run as Java application. Now we can see that the sample program has run successfully. Let's take a quick look to the output of the sample program. The sample program simulates five cars entering and leaving a parking lot. When each car enters a parking lot, it gets a ticket with a unique ticket ID. When it leaves the parking lot, it pays its parking fee based on how long it stays in the parking lot. At the end of the simulation, Two statistics are also computed. The total number of cars entering the parking lot during a day and total parking fees collected on the same day. Before wrapping up the tutorial, I would also like to show you how to select the APIs used to run the sample program. Open the parking demo class. You can see that at the beginning of the main method, you can specify which API to use to run the sample program. The default API is set to SQL, which means the JDBC driver is used. For example, we can change it to base, which means the basic key value API is used.
or you can change it to DPL to use a direct persistent layer API. Now this wraps up the tutorial. Thank you for your time. For more information on Berkeley DB and the sample program, please visit our OTM website.